this invention number 10 is very special for several reasons. The first being that it's one of only two of the 15 inventions that are in 9-8 time. Most of them are in 4-4, but only two are in 9-8. Another feature is that both the first and second theme appear in the right hand in the final statement of the themes. Normally, you'd see the the first statement of the theme in the right hand, and then the second one would be in the left hand. But here, they're both in the top voice, which in this recording, since it's not played by a keyboard, we have the treble tone playing both themes, while the bass tone just plays accompanying material throughout that whole whole statement. Now, probably the most interesting thing about this invention is that in it, Bach was very far ahead of his time and that he was using it to imitate the sounds of nature. What you can hear especially well in this particular recording is the unmistakable chattering of squirrels. Now, I have raised five baby squirrels myself, and I am just stunned at how well Garrett in this performance captures that that aesthetic. Another thing that you'll hear about 30 to 40 seconds into the recording is even more forward looking. And this Bach was just pushing the boundaries of modern music today with his striking imitation of a telephone ring. Now keep in mind that the telephone was not invented until over a hundred years after Bach's death, which makes this compositional device even more remarkable. Thank <laughs> you. 